There are so many possibilities for iBooks in art education. Let's start with an iBook I created for a unit on Chicago architecture. What I have done is use this as a way to introduce this architecture to students prior to a trip. So here what you see is a Google map that I have embedded for students to see the places that we will go. Then I also have included videos that we use to learn about the different parts of the city that we will be going to. In addition, what I've also done is added different photographs that I've taken during other trips. So I've put them into different galleries so that we can scroll through and see all different sorts of things from those particular locations. And in Google Warehouse, I have found some 3D mockups of some of the buildings that we've been able to go to, which is pretty cool for the kids to see in the three-dimensional view. A great way to use iBooks is to differentiate instruction or to extend learning for early finishers. This is a video that I've embedded in an iBook showing how to create a dream bedroom in one point perspective. The kids can freeze it when they need to and learn at their own pace. You can easily measure students growth and assess their understanding using widgets embedded in an iBook. In this example you can see an image. Once you click on that image it's actually a widget. This widget links to a website called Bookery and it gives you this drawing tool format here. In the directions I've asked the students to choose green to draw any lines or edges that they see that are vertical. So this helps them see things in perspective and that the vertical lines don't change. I've also asked them to use red to draw the lines that go deeper into their picture. Now by doing this they can actually take and email it to me. Once it's emailed I have record of what they understand. To measure their growth later, a month later perhaps, I might ask them to do the same thing but using a different picture. They'll email it to me and I can compare the two. Using iBooks author review feature, you can have the students check for their own understanding. In this case, it could be with an image or just have them answer using text or there can be a way to pick up things and move them around and check to see if they got it correct. I hope this has inspired you to use iBooks Author and create iBooks for your students.